All right, people, Catfish Dave here. Title of today's video is Sunday Hump Day. The reason it's Sunday Hump Day is, well, it is Sunday. It's late morning, about 11.15 in the morning because I'm too lazy to get up as usual. And I'm fishing a hump. I'm way out off the bank here. 49, 50 foot of water on that side. Pretty much the same on this side. And here we have a hump, rises up to about 30 feet. I marked a few fish right here. Uh, I caught a gigantic skipjack, 3.6 pounds in my last video. And I'm just kind of moving around a little bit. There's the head off that bad boy. But I'm gonna fish humps and throw big chunks. Rain is on the way. Hopefully I can get a couple hours today before it runs me out of here. I'm not no fan of fishing midday, but it is a little past mid-April and the water temps are still kind of cool. Haven't really hit 60 degrees yet. Now a slap dab in the middle of the summer, I wouldn't want to fish this late in the morning, but this time of year, I still think I may be okay. I think this time of year, they could flat out hit any time of day. Either way, I sent a bait on the way. All they gotta do is find it. This is all experimental to me, the boat. Everywhere I've made a video is the first time I've ever fished there. And that's okay, because there's gonna come a time I have a better day, and I'm gonna be as experienced in this boat as I was off the bank. I'm using a little different tactics, but still looking for a tank. I've got this huge debris field moving down river from me. A uh, bunch of trees and logs and stumps. And I really hope all this don't get in my lines because I don't have the time for a bunch of that garbage right there. If it ain't dogs or too many boats, I got some guy hammering over there all morning long across the river from me. That's a good fish right there, I believe. He ain't no big fish, but boy, he sure hit hard and had the dragon going. He hit hard. 
hard it had to drag it going there for a minute. There's a midday fish, Sunday hump day. Boy, he hit hard, man. I thought I had a real fish on there for a minute. Hit that old fillet piece. That calls for some breakfast. Mm-mm-mm. Uh-oh. Another drag puller. Wanting them fillet pieces this morning. That big chunk ain't got hit. I believe he does. Hugging bottom like a flathead. I just seen a bunch of bubbles come up. That's a respectable fish right there. Yeah. Yeah. That's a better fish right there.
Big fat gut. Sunday hump day. And for whatever reason, they want them type of baits right there. Hey. That's why you experiment. Been out here about 45 minutes for those two fish. I believe we're sitting close to the noon hour. That fish there had a little bit of power. At least my day didn't go sour. And I got some use out of that close to state record size skipjack. Fish number three. Throw one of them chunks and you ain't gonna have no fun because out here today it's the flay pieces that's getting it done. Who would have thunk it? Either way, that's why I will experiment with different cuts of bait. Most of my fishing experience, that chunk has done me well. Who knows, maybe if I sit here long enough, that chunk will finally pull through. I'll give it a little more time before the rain comes and see what it'll do. Three fish in the boat, one real good in a short amount of time. I knew when I seen that hump on avionics, once I threw my cut baits out, everything would be fine. These fish seem to be all different sizes in this hump, catching them small, catching them big. When you fish a spot like this here, it doesn't matter if you fish day or night. The fact that there's plenty of fish here, you're always going to get a bite. Now, I've got a catfish YouTube channel, and that is a catfish on that pole. So I'm gonna pull another one out of this good old catfish hole. Yeah. Another fun size. I guess I'll go ahead and get that fish. Another fun side. Either I'm getting a lot taller, or these fish are getting smaller. All right, people, since I'm on a good bite, these guys give me some hooks, and I'll be honest with you, to me, they're pricey. Uh, but they give them to me, I'll put a little field test on them. They are a Raptor HJ-10 O, and the company is called Nocturnal Nation. Now, I don't see any problem with the design of the hook by looking at it. Now, the only thing I don't care about is the distance between the point and the shank. It, it's actually narrower than my Mustad Demons. I like a wider gap for those big tooth patches. 
Now either way, if it catches it in the corner of the mouth, that's not going to matter. It has some rubber on it right here, and that's supposed to keep the, uh, I guess a snail knot from rubbing up against the top there. It's supposed to help keep the bait from sliding. It's just different, you know. Uh, I, I see no problem with the design of the hook. They're supposedly all hand sharpened, you know. I've got one on, I tied it on. I'm gonna throw it on these strips and experiment with it. This one I've actually got a little rattle on here. Joanna Renee of Lady Cat Outdoors donated a bag of them. I never really used the thing. And it probably ain't gonna matter much considering I'm not dragging the bait anyhow. But I've got it on there just to look professional. Either way, let's give the Raptor HJ from Nocturnal Nation a go while we're out here getting some fish on this hump. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the headpiece. I've got them. No sense in not trying one. There's the head off that great big skipjack. If we're out here doing it, we might as well do it. Might not get jack squat on it, but I'm gonna give it a throw and I'm gonna give it a go. All the old fish can do is say no. I had went about 15 minutes without a bite there, and for a minute, I figured with all them catfish I caught, they went back down there and told their buddies, hey, that catfish Dave is anchored right here. Then they was all down there swimming around in fear. Late morning, the bite was good. Afternoon, it slowed down and I figured it would. Now we're into big baits, long weights. Starting to warm up a bit. Now I believe this green jacket is lucky and it has helped put me on a lot of fish, but I'm gonna take it off as that sun comes up. Anytime I get some gear or try something new, it seems like I end up getting a case of that bad juju. Ever since I put that raptor hook on there, I ain't caught jack squat. Fish were biting good, and now they simply are not. Finding fish on a fish finder really ain't nothing new, but it ain't gonna do you no good if them fish ain't willing to chew. Come out here late morning, had a pretty decent day, but it looks like I done sore lip too many scared the rest away. It is Sunday, it is a hump day, because I'm anchored right here on a hump, slap dab in the middle of the Tennessee River. Some guys are out there complaining, because now I have access to float, but always keep in mind, people, I'm just a bank fisherman in a boat. This is a video, there was fish in the video, that makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one, signing out.